Okay, so we've got our project up and running. Now we need to add an app to it so that we can start building it out. So come back to our terminal and we just want to python manage.py start app and then name the app. So what do we want to name this app? Well, for this API that we're going to be building out, we're going to sort of create a catalog of my online courses. And that way we'll be able to sort of see all of my courses in an API format. Now there's a bunch of different reasons why we might want to do this. It doesn't really matter what API you're going to create. I just happen to be creating courses because I have a whole list of courses and for an API, you need a list of things. So I thought that would be a handy thing. So I'm going to call our app courses because it's going to list. It's going to be an API that lists all of my online courses or at least some of them. Right. So start. So Python manage.py start app and then courses. And then now we can go back to our sublime text and we see this courses directory. And inside of here, there's all kinds of stuff. So the first thing we want to always do is go to our settings.py file and add that new app. So here in installed apps, we just type in the name of it, courses. Always put your comma at the end. Okay. And that's pretty much it. So the next thing I always like to do is play around with the urls.py. So our new courses app doesn't have its own urls.py file. And as you probably know, the urls.py file is the thing that creates URLs for your app. So uh, www.yoursite.com slash courses, that slash courses, that's the URL that you need to create. And you usually do that in a urls.py file. So we need to do a couple of things here. In this urls.py file, we wanna add include, which allows us to include other files. So that's good. Now let's just go ahead and copy all of this and let's create another urls.py file in our courses directory. So just right click on the courses directory, create a new file and we can paste this in here, go to file, save as, and just call it urls.py. So now you'll see there's a urls.py. So you can close all these, uh, save this. There's a urls.py file in our courses directory and there's a urls.py file in our Django API directory. So let's go to this one in the Django API directory. We need to make a quick change here. We need to include that new one in the old one. So to do that, we just go path and then we want it to be the root. So double single quotation marks and then just include and then inside of here, the name of that directory courses dot uh, URLs. And I always put a comma at the end. So go ahead and save that. And we're good to go there. So we can close this. Now we pretty much won't do anything else. I don't think in this URLs.py file anymore, but we will do stuff in our courses URLs.py file. Uh, for one, we can get rid of this admin thing. We don't need that. And let's get rid of this path. This is to the admin section of the website. And we'll look at that in the next video. We can get rid of that. Now here is where we'll put our URLs going forward. But right now we don't have any and that's fine. So go ahead and save this for now. And I think we are ready to go. Let's see the last thing we need to do. And we, we usually do this later, but we're already in URLs.py right now. We need to import from this directory. Well, from this directory, import views. And we'll see why this is important later on. This just allows us to pull in our views, which is this file right here. There's nothing in there right now, but there will be pretty soon. It allows us to pull that into our URLs.py file. And we'll see why that's important later on. So, all right, that's pretty much it for now. In the next video, I think we'll look really quickly at the admin section of the website and uh, go from there.